Hello everyone, this section is for nutritional types of microorganisms. After learning this section, you should be able to use the terms that describe a microbe's carbon source, energy source, and electron source. And you should state the carbon, energy, and electron sources of different nutritional types such as photolysoautotrophs, photoorganoheterotrophs, chemolysoautotrophs, chemolysoheterotrophs, and chemoorganoheterotrophs. For each requirement, energy, electrons, and carbon, there is a dichotomy exists for how an organism fulfills that need. Look at this table. They are source of carbon, energy, and electrons. According to the carbon sources, there are two kinds. The first is autotrophs. These microbes use carbon dioxide as their carbon source. As their sole or principal biosynthetic carbon source. The second is heterotrophs. These microbes use reduced preformed organic molecules for their carbon source. According to the energy source, there are also two types. The first is phototrophs. These microbes use light as their energy source. And there is chemotrophs. These microbes use oxidation of organic or inorganic compounds as their energy source. The last electron sources. We also have two types. First, lysotrophs. These microbes use reduced inorganic molecules as their electron sources. And organotrophs use organic molecules as their electron sources. The nutritional types. By combining the use of these terms, most organisms can be placed in one of five nutritional types based on their primary sources of carbon, energy, and electrons. The majority of microorganisms thus far studied are either photolysoautotrophic, chemolysoautotrophic, or chemoorganoheterotrophic. Look at this table. These are major nutritional types of microorganisms. Firstly, I say photolysoautotrophs. These microbes use carbon dioxide as their carbon source, use light as their energy source, and inorganic molecules as their electron sources. The representative microorganisms are photosynthetic protists and cyanobacteria. They employ water as their electron donor and release oxygen. Others, such as the purple sulfur bacteria and the green sulfur bacteria, cannot oxidize water, but extract electrons from inorganic donors, such as hydrogen, hydrogen sulfur, and elemental sulfur. The second, is chemolysoautotrophs. These microbes also use carbon dioxide as their carbon source. And the energy source and electric sources are both inorganic chemicals, such as ion, nitrogen, or sulfur-containing molecules. The representative microorganisms 
are sulfur oxidizing bacteria, hydrogen oxidizing bacteria, methanogens, nitrifying bacteria, and ion oxidizing bacteria. Chemical lethal autotrophs contribute greatly to the chemical transformation of elements, such as the converse of ammonia to nitrate, or sulfur to sulfate. This continually occur in ecosystem. Photoautotrophs and chemical lethal autotrophs also are important primary primary producers in ecosystem. That is, they fix carbon dioxide, making reduced organic molecules that certain the chemical organoheterotrophs that share their habitats. The third is chemical organoheterotrophs. We also call them chemical heterotrophs or chemical organotrophs. These microbes use organic carbon as their carbon source, electron source, and energy source. Most non photosynthetic microbes are chemical organotrophs. They contribute to biogeochemical cycles, such as carbon cycle and nitrogen cycle in which elements are converted into different forms. In addition, they are of considerable practical importance. Many chemical organotrophs are used industrially to make foods, such as yogurt, pickles, cheese, and also medical products, for example, antibiotics and beverages, such as beer and wine. Nearly all pathogenic microorganisms are chemical organoheterotrophs. The fourth is photoorganoheterotrophs. These microbes use organic carbon as their carbon source, light as their energy source, and organic molecules as their electron sources, such as purple non sulfur bacteria and green non sulfur bacteria. They are common inhabitants of polluted lakes and streams. The last is chemolysol heterotrophs. These microbes use organic carbon as their carbon source and inorganic chemicals as their energy source and electron source. The representative microorganisms are some sulfur oxidizing bacteria. Like chemical lysol autotrophs, they contribute to new, new, uh, numerous biogeochemical uh, cycles. Although we have sorted microbes into particular nutritional type, microbes are not always so easily categorized. Some show great metabolic flexibility and alter their metabolism in response to environmental changes. That's all for this section. Here is a word list for you.